The California Bearing Ratio, CBR, test explained. When engineers design roads, airfields, or parking lots, one of the first and most crucial steps is understanding the strength of the soil or base materials that will support the pavement. That's where the California Bearing Ratio, or CBR test, becomes essential. Developed by the California Department of Transportation in the 1920s, this test has become a standard worldwide for evaluating subgrade strength. It's simple, practical, and offers vital data that informs every layer of pavement design. What is the CBR test, and why is it used? The CBR test measures the resistance of soil or pavement materials to penetration under controlled conditions. In simpler terms, it checks how strong the soil is and how well it can bear loads, much like simulating the weight of vehicles or aircraft tires pressing into the ground. It's especially useful in pavement design because it directly relates to how thick each pavement layer, subgrade, subbase, and base needs to be for long-term durability and performance. How is the test performed? The CBR test can be conducted in the laboratory or in the field. In the lab, a cylindrical soil sample is compacted inside a mold and then soaked in water for four days to simulate worst-case moisture conditions. After soaking, a standard plunger penetrates the sample at a constant rate of 1.25 millimeters per minute. The load required to achieve specific penetration depths, usually 2.5 millimeters and 5 millimeters, is recorded. In the field, the procedure is similar, but it's done directly on-site using a portable testing setup. Field CBR testing is especially useful for verifying compaction quality or evaluating in-place subgrades during construction. Understanding the CBR value. The load measured during penetration is compared to a standard load value, and the result is expressed as a percentage, the CBR value. For instance, a CBR of 5% means the soil's resistance is 5% of that of a high-quality crushed stone reference material. A CBR value of 3% or less typically indicates very poor subgrade, requiring thicker pavement or stabilization. Of values between 5% and 10% are common in normal soils used for rural roads. A CBR above 20% indicates good quality soil or well-compacted granular layers. The 2.5 mm penetration value is usually used for design, unless the 5 mm value is significantly higher, in which case it may be used instead. Why moisture matters? One of the defining features of the CBR test is the soaking process. Many soils weaken dramatically when saturated, especially clay materials. By testing the soaked sample, engineers account for the worst possible moisture conditions the pavement may face during heavy rains or flooding. This ensures that pavement thickness is sufficient, even under the most demanding environmental scenarios. Role in pavement design CBR values are directly used to design the thickness of different pavement layers. Design manuals and charts like those from ASHTO or the Indian Road Congress, use CBR values to determine how thick each layer must be to handle the expected traffic load over time. For example, a low CBR may require a thicker granular base and possibly soil stabilization. A high CBR may allow for a thinner pavement structure, saving both materials and cost. This test helps strike the right balance between safety, durability, and economic efficiency. Advantages of the CBR test The CBR test is popular for several reasons. It's relatively simple and inexpensive to perform. The equipment is portable and easy to use. It's been standardized across many countries, making comparisons easy. It provides immediate, actionable results for pavement design. These factors make it ideal for both routine site investigations and large-scale infrastructure projects. Limitations to keep in mind while useful, the CBR test isn't perfect. It's not suitable for very coarse-grained materials like gravel larger than 20 millimeters. It doesn't account for long-term consolidation or repeated traffic loads. It provides empirical results, not fundamental soil mechanics properties. For more advanced or critical projects, other tests like resilient modulus or plate load tests might be used alongside CBR data. Real-world applications CBR values are crucial for a highway construction to determine subgrade strength and pavement layer thickness, airport runways where high wheel loads demand strong, uniform subgrades, rural road planning, 
in remote areas, where resources are limited and cost-effective design is key. Soil stabilization projects, where low CBR values might prompt the use of lime or cement stabilization to improve strength. Conclusion The California Bearing Ratio Test may be almost a century old, but it remains one of the most practical and widely used tools in civil engineering. It helps engineers evaluate soil strength quickly and make smart, efficient decisions in pavement design. Whether for highways, parking lots, or rural roads, the CBR test ensures that what's underneath is strong enough to support everything on top, mile after mile. Thanks for watching Blueprint to Reality. If you're passionate about the science beneath the surface, make sure to subscribe for more in-depth civil engineering content.